Hi, in this video we will see how to create a relational database in cloud using Google Cloud Platform Service and how to connect it from our machine. Open a browser, type GCP. Go to Google Cloud. If you are new to GCP, you have to create a GCP account using your Gmail ID. You will be able to use some service and learn without paying for a trial period. After creating a GCP account, go to console. You will land in the GCP dashboard or GCP home. This dashboard will provide the details of your GCP account. In the resource box, you can see the list of services used. You can also see the billing details in the billing section. To create a relational database instance in cloud, GCP provides a service called Cloud SQL. Search and go to Cloud SQL. Click create instance. You can choose between three database engine, MySQL, Postgres and SQL Server. In this video, we will create a Postgres instance and let's connect to that instance from our local machine. Choose Postgres. It will ask for an instance name. So give any name. Next, provide a password. This is the password for your default Postgres user. Next, select a data center that is nearer to you for better performance. You can also select the Postgres version that you need. Click on create. This will take a few minutes for the instance to get created and start running in the cloud. While the instance is being loaded, uh, we can see some of the basic uh, details of the instance. For example, we can see the basic configuration of this DB, uh, which is one CPU and a RAM of 4 GB and a SSD storage of 10 GB. And we can also see the IP address, which we can use to connect to this instance from our machine. Now our instance is up and running. In order to connect to our DB, we need a database management tool. For Postgres, it is PG Admin, and for MySQL, it is Workbench. For this video, we have to install PG Admin in our machine. Mm, I have already installed it, so I will provide you a link to guide you installing PG Admin to your system. Copy the IP address of our DB instance. Next, to open PG Admin. Right click, create a new server, give a name for this connection, in the host address paste the IP address of our DB instance, the default port for Postgres is 5432. The username is Postgres. You can also check this by going to the GCP window on clicking the user. You will see a user called Postgres. If you want to add a new user, we can also do this here. Next is password. Provide the password that we use while creating the instance. Check once and click save. Now we won't be able to connect to our DB instance. We have to do one more step. Go to our GCP window and click edit. Expand the connectivity tab. It says that we have not authorized any external network to connect to our cloud. Yes, we can do this by providing our public IP address. Let's get the public IP address. Let me show you how. Go to Google and search my IP address. For me, I got a IPv6 address, but in GCP, we have to provide an IPv4 address. So, go to the next link below, get your IPv4 address and paste it in the GCP. 
give a name to the address we have to give a final save at the bottom our db instance will get updated wait for some time now the instance is updated let's open pg admin and try again the connection is established now now using our pg admin let's create a table and add some records to it right click on the table then create table let's create a user table let's add two columns one will be a id of type integer and not null a primary key second is name of type character length 15 the table will be created right click on the table go to insert script to add a few records I have added four records let's go to script select script and view the inserted records GCP also provides a way to connect to our DB instance without any tools. Click on options connect using cloud shell. It will create a connection in the shell for you. Wait for a few minutes. It will ask for your DB password. Enter it. Now the connection is successfully established. We can use Postgres commands now onwards. To list the database, type slash l. Our database is Postgres, and to connect it, type slash c for connect and the database name. Enter the password. Now we are connected to Postgres. To list the tables, enter slash dt. We can see the list of tables and now we can also see the user table that we have created. From here we can do the select query like select star from public schema the user table. We can see the inserted records as well. We can perform all kinds of operations in the shell itself but by using a tool like PG admin we will get the UI which is very great. Next, let's see how to connect to our DB instance if we are using a SSL certificate for security. First, let's create a SSL certificate. Go to connection tab. Under SSL section, click a create client certificate. Give a name for the client certificate. Click create. GCP will create a client certificate file a client key file and a server certificate file download these three files you can see that ssl mode is verify ca in the command below copy that command somewhere in most cases uh, this ssl certificate will be provided by your client to you make sure you have selected allow only ssl connection now let's use our pg admin to connect to our db instance. We will obviously get an error stating that we need SSL certification. Click on the connection, open properties, rest all the settings are same, go to SSL, provide the location of our client certificate. Next, provide the location of our client key. 
and then our server certificate. Make sure that the SSL mode is verify CA and click save. Now try logging in again. We got a new error stating that a private key file permission should be changed. This is an easy step. Go to the file, open terminal at the location, type ls to list the files, enter the command chmod 0600 and the file name client key dot pem. Now the file permission will be modified. Try logging in again. And that's it. We were able to connect to a DB instance with SSL certificate on. In this video, we have used a DB management tool like PG admin to connect to our cloud DB. In the next video, we will see how to connect to our DB instance using a Java application even with the SSL certificate on. Thank you. See you on the next video.